Hey guys, I hope you're good. Uh, my name's Chris Nicholson and today we are at Gymshark LC. Today we're going to be forming a simple arm routine where the only equipment that we're going to need uh, two sets of dumbbells, one heavier, one lighter, and then an easy bar. So each exercise is three sets of 12 with a 30 second rest in between. So first exercise that we're going to do, we're going to do skull crushers. So bar up, I go for quite a neutral, narrow grip and straight back. And then we're going to go for 12. So just above the head and then back up. Try and keep it as slow as possible and a steady tempo. So that's our first set done. So I'm gonna keep the weight the same for me, just because I don't want to overload the muscle too soon, because we've got quite a few exercises still to come with triceps. So we'll step into the next one, and then it'll be for 12 reps again, keeping the muscle really nice, really tight, and let's get ourselves set. So 30 seconds, nearly up. And now into our next set. So again, keeping that tempo really nice and smooth. Try not to hit your forehead. So for me, being a wheelchair user, my arms, I use my arms as my legs, so it's important for me to keep them as strong as possible. I keep the muscles as in peak condition. So I'll try and keep, normally I'd, on my push-pull split, I'll do two tricep exercises and one bicep exercise. And I'll make sure that, that is very current with my plan. So next set, and our final set. So again, just above, forehead and back up that's your first rep two three four five remember to keep that tempo and keep it nice and smooth nine ten eleven so our first tricep exercise is done. So if you're like me, sometimes I plan my sessions out and I put it on my phone. So our next exercise is going to be an easy bar curl. Probably keep the weight the same as what we did on our skull crushers. And then just jump straight into it after that one and get the biceps pumping. So same again, okay? Three sets of 12. But this time, instead of the narrow grip, I'm going to go for a wide grip. Okay. So, up to 12. Try and keep as much tension through your biceps as possible. So we're going to do another two sets of that, really try to keep as much tension through the bicep as possible. A lot of people, A, swing it up and then they're using a lot of the front deltoid, which we don't necessarily want to do. We want to really isolate the biceps, really encourage a lot of stimulation and a lot of blood through into the muscle. So coming to our next set now, 30 seconds break, remember? Okay, so set and back up. First rep, okay? Make sure we're squeezing the muscle at the peak. Ooh. 
Really isolate that muscle, try to eliminate as much swing as possible. I can start to feel it there. I just start to get release it, I'm trying to keep as good a tempo as possible. So normally it's two seconds up, second pause, two seconds down. The idea is to keep those muscles really tense and keep them working and allow some stability through the muscle itself. So 30 seconds nearly up. The idea is to keep the intensity really, really high now. So we're gonna go into our last one. Okay. Bar into position, shoulders back, up to your first rep. It's getting harder now. So first exercise for bicep is done. And now we're moving into a superset where we're gonna hit triceps a lot more. So you can have two dumbbells we've got here, two sets. You can either go heavy or you can go light, but ultimately it depends on you. If you wanna stay light, increase your reps. If you wanna go heavy, make sure you're hitting those 12 reps. If you're not, lower the weight down a little bit. So, First exercise that we're gonna do is overhead tricep. So, dumbbell, sort of like a bit of diamond grip on the dumbbell itself, and really stretch the tricep. Open your chest, stretch the tricep, and back up for one. First tricep exercise done. Into dips, you can you normally use a chair for this at home or if you're at a gym, grab a bench, line your arms up. Just so they're about shoulder width apart, sit into it for one. Two. Remember to try and keep your breathing as regular as possible. Keep it out when you're coming back up and in when you're going back down. So, first set done. You'll start to feel your arms getting tighter, so the breathing is so important. You want to get as much oxygenated blood into the muscles, remove as much lactate and waste as possible. And then, so again, 30 seconds rest, and then we'll drop straight into the next one. Try and keep the intensity really high. If it starts getting too much, lower the weight, start again, and make sure we're hitting those 12 reps at all times. So, into our second set. Remember, chest out, looking up, and then down for one. Two. So it's starting to get a bit tired now, but straight into tricep dips. Okay, we're in for 12 on this now. Okay, looking forward and sink into it. And breathe out on your way back up.
I'm actually knackered now. Remember, if you're starting to lose a bit of form, rest, take your time, and then just get back yourself into it. For me, using my arms all the time, I've got to make sure you know, that I'm resting, I'm recovering, and I'm stretching as well. So at the end of the session, make sure you stretch, make sure you're getting your recovery time in. So last set, we're gonna go for a lighter weight, just so we can keep form. So remember that diamond shape, chest out, sink into one. Remember, get that stretch right through the tricep. Pain was real on that one, so straight back into triceps, onto the dips, one. If you're starting to struggle, like I am now, give yourself a little bit of breather, straight back into number seven for me. So that is triceps over and done with, and I am glad about that. So make sure we get our rest in, and then on to our next one. What we've got is hammer curl, where we're gonna be isolating forearm a lot more. And then after that, we're going to an alternate bicep curl, where it'll be all three sets of 12. But yeah, remember, give yourself a bit of a breather, because I'm absolutely blowing right now. So I'm not gonna go ridiculous because I'm probably gonna build my weight up towards the end. So what we'll do is we'll start on the lightweight. Get yourself comfy, comfy, back straight, sitting upright. So three sets of 12. Get those arms to 90 degrees. Well done, 30 second break again. Just gotta try and keep that recovery, but still keep your heart rate high, keep that intensity high, because right now the pump is on and my arms feel really swollen. So if you're feeling like this, you're absolutely smashing it. So next set coming in, start in 10 seconds. Remember, back straight. Weights into a neutral position and straight up, 90 degrees, down. Into 10. 11, 12. Oh. So before all this, I used to be sat, well, I wasn't sat in a wheelchair. I used to be stood up, so I, and I used to play rugby at a very high level. So keeping my body in as peak condition that it could be in was really important. And now being sat down and hopefully as technology advances for me, I keep my body as strong as possible. Potentially with technology, it might get me back up on my feet. So my goal is to try and keep in that peak condition as possible. So fingers crossed that one day, we walk in again and able to squat with everybody else. 
So, it's five seconds, five second rest done. Into neutral, 90 degrees, and down. This is our last set to make sure it's burning. Five, four, three, two, one, and we are done. So you'll be able to feel it straight through forearms, and now we're gonna isolate the main head of the bicep itself. So again, got a choice of two weights, but the way my arms are feeling at the moment, we're gonna start at the low weight of the eight kilos and work our way back up. So we're gonna do an alternate bicep curl. So it'll be three sets of 10, so it's five reps on each arm. So we'll start with the eight. Okay, so we wanna open, open the dumbbell. On this, on this one, we wanna try and keep as much squeeze as possible through the biceps itself. So first rep, one, slow. We don't want the bicep to fully, ex for the arms fully extend. Over halfway. So it's 10, 10 reps done really feel the burn from what we were initially doing on the forearms. So let's take it up a weight. So if we go up a weight and we're not able to get our 10 reps, bring it back down, bring your weight back down, start again. Remember, so into position, straight back like you sat on your chair again. Open the weights up. Oh, I think I'm a bit too far ahead of myself on this one. So open the biceps up, dumbbells open, up for one. Don't straighten the arm, keep tension through the muscle. Two, three, four, five, So you can probably see on my last two there, I lost a lot of form. Arms are getting a bit heavy, a bit sore. So what we'll do now is we'll go back down to the eight kilos. It's so important to keep as much form as possible on these exercises, especially when we're isolating a certain part of the muscle. So remember back up, back straight, open your arms, big deep breath. And then for one. Remember not to straighten those arms. that is my arm workout done guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you took part in it leave a comment on how well you did and uh yeah fingers crossed you get as much burn as me